good morning. If my dad's watching this, he's going to say, why do you always vlog in the car? And I don't always vlog in the car, but he thinks I do. So, it is Vlogmas Day 6, and it is Wednesday. It is, I... I always like to say, like, the light at the end of the tunnel, and now that light is going to blind me again, just like it did yesterday. <sighs> I always wonder, like, my neighbor's windows are, like, right next to my car, and I wonder if they see me in the morning, and they're like, what in the world is she doing every morning? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm running a little bit late this morning. It's already 7.10, so I just need to, I don't really have much to do this morning. I always get to school, and I don't have, oh, that's much better. Oh, um, I don't really have much to do. I just like to like chill in the mornings though. I just sit there and kind of like sip on my coffee and mentally prepare for the day. So I went for, and I'll show you my outfit when I get to school, but I went for like a 100% layered look today. It's kind of at that stage of the season where the weather is, it's pretty chilly in the morning, but it's not like chilly all day. It warms up to like 70 ish and then um later it'll be cooler like when I'm leaving work like in the evening but it's not quite cold enough for me for like a big jacket yet so I just like to wear like chunky sweaters and then like just kind of layer on boots and stuff so I'll show you my outfit when I get to school but I also have to talk to you guys about my Christmas gifts for my kids and parent gifts I'm like in such a dilemma I don't know what to do so but I'll talk about that when I get to school because I gotta go Side note, I was really excited my car just started normal. I, you know, yes, or you don't know yesterday. You know how if you like <clears throat> don't turn it all the way and then like it obviously doesn't start because you didn't like, I like missed it. Like I, my hand like slipped or something. I don't even know. And so I missed it. But then when I go to, I went to turn it on again, it acted like it didn't want to start. But I think it's because I had like done that the first time. And because I just got a new battery in my car, so I knew it wasn't my battery. My car's not that old. And like he said, everything was fine with my car. But I think it's because I missed like the turn all the way. And then the second time I did it, it was like trying to catch up or something. So I was trying to see if my car wasn't going to start well this morning. And it started just fine. So we're good. All right, I just got into my classroom and we received our book order yesterday. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. All right, so we've got, I ordered, I didn't, I just told my friend the other day that I didn't order this and I, apparently I did. Charlotte's Web. I know they read it in third grade, but I figured I could have a copy for the room. Um, let's see. My Weird School. I just basically picked out all the dollar books. That's cool. Ooh, this is going to be, like, perfect. We're doing, um, like, extreme weather this week. Oh my gosh, my kids are going to love this. Ooh, that's cool. I'm glad I ordered that and it came this week. Um, Flat Stanley, his original adventure. I may actually read this as my next read aloud now that I'm thinking about it. Because I think this is the first one, right? Original, I'm assuming. I've never, uh, I never had that one, so. Um, oh, a student ordered this. <laughs> Make your own emoji ornaments. That's cute. That's for them. What else is this? She ordered this, too. Chalk it up, stationary set. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Ralph S. Mouse. I don't remember ordering like any of these. <laughs> I couldn't see the covers when I was ordering them. So I just kind of grabbed any of the ones that were dollar. Oh, I do remember ordering this one because I thought that would be kind of cool for next year for Day of the Dead. Oh, cool. It's in Spanish and English. How cute. This is such a cute book. Oh my goodness. Too bad that. Dio de los Muertos is over. Wildfires. Oh, there's really bad fires in Southern California right now. And, yeah. These are cool. I wish I had more of these books. I feel like my kids are going to like them. The National Geographic Kids. I don't I don't think I have any, actually. But I feel like they're really going to like those. Um. Oh, she ordered this. It comes with a little necklace. Cute. Um... Oh, let it snow. How funny. I think my friend was showing me the books that she got 
And I'm pretty sure we got like all the same looks. Yep, because she got this one too. <laughs> How funny is that? A snowy day. Ooh, now I have two Christmassy books to read the next couple weeks. Got some stickers. I need to open those because I think there's multiple. Keys give. Oh, I think there's multiple in there though. And then. Oh, there's a warehouse sale my friend was telling me about, and I kind of want to go, but I probably won't have time. So, anyway, that's my haul. Alright, so the only thing I really need to get prepared for today is just to make sure I have everything for our writing. I'm so excited to do writing this morning because it's going to be so peaceful. We're going to put on the fireplace, and we're just going to write, and it's going to be first thing in the morning, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. So, I just need to get that prepared um, I have so many things that need to be done for next week, and we've been out of paper at the school f since Friday, so I haven't been able to do anything. Luckily, we make all of our copies, like, ahead of time. Like, my team is really on top of it, but, um, so I have everything for this week, but I was trying to get ahead for next week, and I can't, like, do anything because there's no paper, so that's fun. I'm gonna write my name... <clears throat> I'm going to write my name on all of these books and then put some stickers on them so I can put them in our library. And I was actually pretty excited. I, I had a student organize the library yesterday and I feel like I always have books that go missing. Like, it's just kind of the name of the game. I went to a training and they were like, oh, who's scared to let their kids take their books home? And I was like, me, because I never get them back, I feel like. And they were like, it was one of those people that like, just very blunt and they were like, um you can't fear of books getting lost or like not coming back because it's just a book and like life will go on. But if these kids are taking books home to read, it doesn't matter if the book gets lost or if it gets, you know, ruined or something. Like obviously if they're just taking it and losing it, whatever. But um, they said always encourage your students to take, not necessarily your books home, but like library books and stuff like that. And I always encourage my, book, my students not to take their library books home because I say they're gonna lose them. But um, they said, like, they need to have something at home to read, and it'll, you know, encourage more reading at home. So, I'm trying to be better. So, anyway, I had a student organize the library yesterday. So, I went through all of the, like, student drawers and pulled out all of the books that were in there that were mine. And um, I thought for sure we were going to have Captain Underpants books missing because I've had things go missing in the room, and I cannot figure out who's doing it. Totally other topic, but... We have the whole series of Captain Underpants, and I ordered these with our Scholastic Points, and there's 12 books, and I figured for sure we'd be down to, like, 8, and there's actually 11, so I'm only missing one, and I'm going to ask the kids where that one is, but I'm pretty proud that there's 11 still, because I figured there would not be, and that actually may even be, like, in another bucket somewhere that it's not supposed to be, but I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to put those books in there, and then... The way I have my library organized is I just put these little stickers on the bucket and then the book will also have the sticker on it. Oh, there's a Christmas book I should read. Um, so then the book will have the sticker as well. So then the kids know what bucket it goes on. There's really not really, not really like a system to it in terms of leveling. I like tried to level them out over summer and so like the pink the green and the yellow and the orange all meant something different and they still do i kind of i just gauge it though by myself like i don't i was looking them up but i couldn't really find the levels on some of them and then some of them i just i don't know like i had too many in one so i had to like move them over to another that was closer so yeah it's not a perfect system but it works for my kids they can kind of know at least like where to put the book back and really it doesn't matter to me like I let them read whatever in the library they actually pull books at their level but in here I just kind of let them read whatever also can we just notice how all of my posters are on the ground ah dang it I'm gonna have to fix these all right let's go fix these and fix those books all right so it's the end of the day and today was a long day wow it was a really long day and it wasn't windy this morning and now it's so windy I went outside to go get something from my car and I about blew over and I also got an email saying because I have PE tomorrow that if it's windy then they will have to do PE in my classroom 
So I guess I better be prepared just to like go up to the step lounge or something. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out right now what I'm going to do for parent gifts and student gifts. I have a few different ideas and I think I've decided on, because I originally bought these um, last year when they were 90% off, or 90% off, they were only 90 cents. It was a great day. I bought them in like February or April or some February or March, I don't know. But I bought them a really long time ago and they sat in my back seat this entire time. And so now I finally get to use them. Well, my dumb self, I only bought two boxes of them. I don't know why. Only they have they only have 12. I guess I didn't think I was going to have any more than 24 students and that none of them would get broken. So then I went last night. They are still 8.99 this year, but they were only 50% off. So I paid like 4.50 for one box. So, I'm a little better. But I think this is what I'm going to do. Uh, let me see. Whoa. I was just like zooming that in without even realizing it. Let's see. Um, where is these? So I think I'm going to do like the fingerprints on them and then put their name. So <clears throat> I'm going to do a sample I think right now and figure out if that's going to be or if that's going to like work. I don't know. Um, but then I don't know what I'm going to do for the kids because I want to like do something for them. But then I also like don't want to spend a lot of money to do it because I know it just ends up getting like thrown away or you know whatever. So I don't know. And I couldn't find the white ornaments last night to like put their name on. I couldn't even find like little paper like hard like papery type ones. I used those a couple years ago. Couldn't find those either. So I think I'm just going to end up putting like a little small goodie bag together for them. And calling it a day so my lips oh my gosh they're so dry from the wind and I'm pretty sure I'm getting a like cold sore type of thing from I'm assuming the wind from my lips being so dry I don't even know so it's gross um before I get to work let me show you my outfit because I never did that today so I've got on this black um scarf it is just like a big huge flowy scarf it is um from where's the little thing oh there it is it is like it says mark jacobs but i actually got it at and it's so wrinkly i could not get the wrinkles out this morning it's actually from the target and neiman marcus collection a couple not a couple it's probably like four years ago five years ago but i love this scarf because it's just black and like easy to throw on with things and then i love this work i've got um this gray like chunky cardigan on I've got a black just like shirt on but you can't really see it and then I have these um, like legging pant things that I got at Old Navy and I've got my over-the-knee boots which someone told me on the comments because they saw the stain that I should put sharpie on it and I had thought about that too but I was like no it'll ruin it but then someone else said it and so I was like well maybe if two people are thinking it so I actually did and I feel like it looks a lot worse in camera. Like in person, like you can't even really tell. I mean, if you stare at it, you can, but if you like didn't know it was there, I feel like you can't really tell it's there. They just look like they have like a little mark on them. But like I said, I feel like in the camera, it's showing up way worse than it actually is. So I better get off and get some work done. I can't make this video too long because my husband's gonna be mad at me because yesterday's video was 26 minutes long. I do apologize. I just have a lot to say. Sorry. Okay, so we just had, an, oh, it stopped. We just had an earthquake and it wasn't like a strong one, but it was really long. And this light, I don't know if you can see it. That light that's like through the um, shades. When they first turn on, those lights, when they first turn on, they like just flicker like really bad and for like a long time and the earthquake was going and i like looked over to be like oh there's an earthquake and that light was just blinking and i was like oh my gosh because i swear i keep seeing the lights in here flicker but i think it's from maybe like the wind or something because i swear and then i can't tell if it's like me blinking or if they're actually flickering so whoa i kind of want to go home now because now i'm kind of scared although i have to fill out paperwork for a student so i need to get that done because they already emailed me telling me it was not done and someone's knocking my door so i'll see you later
All right, so I am home now. It is about 6.15. I actually stopped at the grocery store on the way home just to pick up a couple things that we needed and then came home. So I'm just going to sit down and relax for the night. I do have to wash my hair tonight because it is a hot mess. The wind has like just my hair. I can't. I can't deal. But I'm going to show you really quickly what I'm going to make for dinner. I'm not going to show it to you what I'm done because I'm actually going to end the vlog here. But I'm mixing... I call it Mexican casserole. I don't know what it's actually called, but we do. But I do a can of black beans and then um, like a pound of ground beef, and then you cook it up in the pan with some taco seasoning and like half a jar or so, kind of however much you want, of like paste salsa. <clears throat> And then you, so you cook that up till it's completely cooked and then you put it in a baking dish and you layer a um, layer of cornbread on top, not cooked or anything, and then you bake it in the oven and you put some cheese on it. I usually put cheese like on the inside as well. And then you just bake it until the cornbread is all cooked and then yeah, you just eat it like that. It's really good. It's my husband's like favorite thing I think that I make, so I I mean, it tastes good, but I don't know why it's his favorite thing. Because he doesn't even really like the cornbread. He just likes the inside. So usually I get to eat his cornbread. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog here. I don't think I have every, I don't think I have anything else to say for tonight. I think that's it. So I hope everyone had a really good day. Today was overall a pretty good day. I really enjoy Wednesdays, so it was a good day. Tomorrow is Thursday, and oh my gosh, this week is flying by again. Oh, I'm getting stressed. I'm like trying not to let myself get stressed because I feel like I get stressed every time this year around this time of year with class but there's like nothing to be stressed about like there really isn't except for Christmas gifts and I'll get them done so it is what it is. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you for supporting my channel and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the morning.